Duel Review is brought to you by SpiderWolf.com. On today's Duel Review, it's Dungeon Roll. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is the 21st, and we're taking a look at a little self-contained dice rolling game, Dungeon Roll. That's right, and yet again, this is one that was brought to us by our good friend Theron. Thanks, Theron. Thanks, Theron. Uh, and this one was very recent, came out not too long ago. Uh, it's created by Chris Darden. Um, and basically the premise is you're going into this dungeon and you have ten levels of dungeon and then every once in a while you awaken the dragon and you have to fight the dragon. And it's all done with dice, and so there's not much to it. Um, Accommodates a lot of you know people. Yes, yes. Or you can play it solitaire. Yeah, you can play it. What, how many can you play it up to? It's like ten or something. Like that. Yeah. You can play any many. It doesn't really matter. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, and you collect experience. And what's fun is that you have characters, and you have like a whole slew of characters. Not these. These are not characters. But you have a whole slew of characters. And what's fun is that on one side you have the novice or novice level, and then on the back is the master level. So this, for example, is the dwarf, and then on the back is the berserk. And so once you reach five experience, you get to turn it over and get a slightly better version of yourself. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and each of them are fairly unique, although some of them, you know, it's like uh, some of them special abilities are like a cleric can be a fighter and then a fighter can be a cleric or a thief can be a mage and a mage can be a thief or something like that. So they do kind of do that several times, but there are some very unique characters like for the exam example, the... Uh, who is this, the Viking and then the undead Viking, although they both look kind of undead, so I don't know, whatever. Um, well, the Goblin, who's super cheap because he can get potions for free or whatever. The Goblin, I like the Goblin. This yeah, of course is, you do. This is the Half Goblin, and then he's the Chieftain on the back. Um, so that's pretty much it. We have two sets of die. We have the Dungeon Dice and then the Party Dice, and then this ten-sided dice t tells you what level you are on. So you start off on level one, which is here. Hello, level one. So you start off uh, with two areas. You've got the graveyard and you've got the dragon's lair. And they're represented by these cards here. So we're just putting them down. And these are going to keep track of dice that we've used in our party. They go to the graveyard. And then the dragon pops up every once in a while. So right. essentially all it is, um, there's an extra dice here that only I think only one character uses. It has speckles on it, so it's easier to, to um, distinguish. That gets set aside. You have seven major dice. And you roll them all at once. So I roll them all, and I'm going to assemble my party here. Forming the party. And so I got two scrolls, I got a mass, so a thief, and a wizard, and a, whatever this is, the, the mace. The and mace champion, is the and a fighter, and then those two scrolls. So these are my party. Now there might be cards or parts of the character cards that allow you to re-roll. Um, you might be able to get you know, a scroll or a potion, rather. Uh, that will let you take one back from the graveyard and, and set it to any face. But for all intents and purposes, this is your party. So you do not re-roll uh, unless, well, like Something I say, one of those you skills can. lets you uh, while you go through the dungeon. So it's really about kind of being like, hmm, do I have enough to survive the next dungeon? I might get lucky kind of thing, and then you proceed. Now, the dungeon level is denoted by this die, and it starts at level 1, and it goes all the way to level 10. Right. Um now, generally, the person on his le on on the play uh, on the person going into the dungeon. The person on the left is the dungeon master, the person who controls the bad guys. Um, and since he's on level one, I'm going to roll one die, and it is a goblin. So, uh, so to fight a goblin, there's there's a nice little cheat sheet right here that tells you who fights with what. Um, goblins, you can kill multiple goblins with a fighter. So with one fighter die, you can kill multiple. And it's color-coded. So yep. the green swords crossed, that's what I could use to kill multiple goblins. And there's only one, because this is only level one. So I can pretty much use anything, any right. any player character or whatever. I guess I can't use scrolls, but I could use, you know, the sorcerer or a champion. The champion is, is nice, though, because they can open any number of chests, and they can also kill... They basically are a wild card yep. in, in, in as far as against little monster enemies. So... Um, let's just say I kill this one, use that die, um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the second level. You're going to roll two dice this time. Two die. And it is a skull or a skeleton and a potion. Okay, I'm going to play devil's advocate here, and I'm going to say that you rolled uh, two skulls. Ooh, dangerous. Now, because you rolled two skulls, 
Uh, I, I as long as I have that color or a champion, I can kill both with one of my die. Right. So I have one right here that has the little little hammer. He's a cleric. Thing, a cleric, okay. Which I don't see why that qualifies as cleric. It's a hammer. Yeah, but clerics usually carry around. It is those... lit. But anyway. Yeah. Like so paladins. I'm gonna spend this one and I'm gonna kill these two. So that's good for me. I still have five left. I'm gonna go again. So now three. that he's in level three, I'm gonna roll three die. Hello. And it's a dragon. Ooh, the first dragon now. Every time a dragon is rolled, it goes into the dragon lair, and you're one step closer to awakening the dragon. When three dragons are rolled, the dragon comes to life, and then you have to do something about it. Uh, so now you have a, uh, a treasure and a potion. Treasures are interesting because you can use either... Well, you can use any one character to open any one, but thieves and champions can open as many as are out there. Um, and then you open it up, and usually in the box you'll get these treasures. Um, oops, that's XP. And you can choose from these. They're big, the ones with the yellow backs. Well, you randomly pick. Yeah, them. randomly, randomly out pick of the them. box. Uh, and that's why it comes comes in like a treasure chest yes. kind of looking thing. Yay! And and that's actually the Kickstarter exclusive box uh, with the monster face on yeah, it. Yeah, which is a mimic. Yeah, thing. it kind of so looks like a mimic teeth. from Final Fantasy. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It, it looks really cool. And you know, there's a whole bunch. Some of them act as uh, thieves and clerics and other things. Uh, others are other potions. You have this ring, which makes you invisible to the dragon, which means that any dragon dice in the dragon layer goes away. And we'll we'll and get to the dragon stuff. in a second. So yeah. I haven't pulled any of those, so that doesn't matter to me at the moment, but I'm about to because I'm going to use the thief to go to the treasure, which means I take the box and I randomly pick one. Oh, gee, look, it's the, it's the ring. Ring, of, ring power. of power. And then I'm going to use a scroll to quaff this potion, which is a weird word. Right. So it allows me to take a dice back from the graveyard and put it to what I want. So I'm Yep, gonna... any face. I'm going to go ahead and do another champion. Why not? Hooray! So that's it. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to four. It's starting to get a little bit touchy for me just because I only have four dice. But I'm probably good still. Okay, another dragon. Let's say you rolled two more dragons. Let's do you that. You want to do two more dragons? All right, so do you want the treasure? I'll just do it. Okay. So there you go. Three dragons are out. But he still, before you can touch the dragon, he still has to yeah. take care of these. So as soon as you get three, now you have to fight the dragon this turn, or you know you 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 have to run back cowardice and don't get any experience points. Right. But if you beat the dragon, you get an extra treasure and an extra experience point. So the first thing I have to do again, like you said, is deal with these two. Now I can use this, and that's nice that I have it. I will quaff you know something back. Right. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and do. It doesn't really matter because right now I need three different types in order to beat the dragon. Right, so, so three different faces. As long as I don't scrolls. pick a champion or a wizard with the one that I bring back, it doesn't really matter. I've got this taken care of because I can use this to kill that. Or, I'm sorry, use a champion to kill that. Then I have three different types right here that take care of the this. So and now I'm going to stop uh, because going on would be stupid since I, I don't think I actually can because I have no dice. So I was stopped at level four, which means I get four points plus one for the dragon. So I'm going to take a five here. And then I'm going to randomly take a treasure. Gee whiz, it's a dragon scale. Oh my. Now dragon scales are kind of the actually the weakest because you need pairs of them for them to count as experience points at the end. Right. So anyway, so that's the end of my turn. I am, you know, relinquishing... Uh, exploring to him. So he's going to go ahead and do that. We'll start back at level one. And I'm going to roll one die. Hooray! Oh, it's a dragon, so we don't even have to worry about it. Okay, and what I have in my party is two thieves, one cleric, one champion, uh, one wizard, and one fighter, and one scroll. Now, one thing that I didn't do at the very beginning was we draw characters. Each of the characters have a special ability that you can use anytime, multiple times, unless it says differently. Um, this one, mine, says if I start with two party dice in the graveyard, so I have to start with two less, um, then whenever a champion defeats two monsters, so when I use a champion to kill two monsters, I can re-roll that champion on, on, instead of discarding it. So that's really nice. What's yours? Uh, mine, I have the alchemist here, so I can... Well, my special ability is all chests become uh, potions, and then my overpowered ability is uh, transformation potion, roll two die... Oh. That's the wrong side. Roll one party die from the graveyard, so I'm essentially resurrecting a character. Yeah, and he said wrong side because I have two sides. The first one, the tan greeny one, that's the one you start off with. As soon as you get five victory points, which I just got last round, you flip it over to the other one. So it's a little bit more, you know, a little bit more badass uh, kind of thing. Right. Uh, so now I'm assuming you're going to go on, so we're going to move it to two. I'm going to roll two dice, and you got a potion and a gloobity glob. A goo glue He's a news. He's a news. Use. He's a noose. All right, I'll use my thief to kill the ooze. Now I'm using my thief as opposed to the color that he wants because 
I want to kind of hold on to my diversity just in case uh, of uh, so dragon. dragon already out, yeah. Yep. So uh, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to quaff anything. Okay. So we're going to go on. I am going to go on. Okay. So we're going to number three. It has two goobly glops and okay. one skull. So I have two goobly glops, which are oozes for all you people. So I'll use a wizard, which is purple. So the purple defeats any number of purples, so that takes care of that. Oops. And then I have the uh, skeleton. Uh, and I will use... Shoot. I will use... I guess I'll use my cleric on him. So there you go. He's okay. Dead. All right. Are you going to continue? Uh, I have four. What level am I on? You're on three right now. I'm going to go forward. All right. So here's four. There's a ooze, a skull, a potion, and a chest. Okay. Now my ability lets uh, any chests become potions as well. So I will spend my scroll to quaff both of those. And now I can get two characters back of any face. So let's see. What do I need? Uh, I guess I can do, I guess I'll do that, and I guess I'll do, I don't know, I'll just, I'll just do that. So I'll just do it to those two and kill these two. So there you go. Okay, are you going on again? We're at five. Uh, I have three, but I haven't used my ability, which, which lets me take one back. So this is the kind of the, the fun of the game, is deciding when to stop. Because if he doesn't stop right now, and I roll something amazing, or the dungeon rolls something amazing, he might lose all the experience that he's been building up. Right. right now, if he stops, he gets four experience. So do you want to continue? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. All yeah, right, let's, let's so we're going to number five. It. Take five dice. Same number as the level. Got one more dragon, but he's safe. Okay. And he actually got two of two of a kind. He got two skulls and two goblins. All right, so I can take care of that with these two. I have my fighter to take care of both goblins, and my champion can take care of the two. So then you, you got lucky. So you might want to stop. I think I will stop, even though I haven't used my ability. I can only take one from there, but I, I got up to five, so now I can do whatever I want. So yeah. I'm just going to say that's five. Yeah, so you get five points. Um, these tokens, they are multiple-sided, which kind of becomes problematic in some ways. Um, there's ones and fives, and then threes and ones, and yeah. threes and fives randomly. So it, it's one of those things that because you're rolling dice a lot, you might accidentally flip it over, but, you know, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Right. Um, uh, so I guess... Uh, you might have picked up that we're kind of playing this monotone, like we really don't have a lot of enthusiasm behind our voice, and that's kind of how we feel about the game, I think. Um, I don't necessarily, you know, dislike this game. It's just, it's it's a palatizer, but it's not one that's well-balanced, I think. Now, we, we haven't played with all the characters. There's right. a lot of characters, so that I give them credit for that. Yeah, there's a... Because um, really, there's not a whole lot of the components, but, you know, there are a lot of different characters. They're all somewhat different. Um, so we played like what you know with half of them, and I yeah again there are a few characters that's like when that comes out it's like you bastard that, yeah that's a cheap ass card yeah, mostly the half goblin that's the one he doesn't like and like the berserker I ended up liking but the first time your first ability is like you start with two dice in here you have to do it at the very beginning two party dice in here if I use that it's gonna be one two at least two levels before I could even possibly use that ability. So it's better or not just to wait till you have five victory points, and then it becomes important because my special ability is I can take five from four from the graveyard and put it into my party permanently, but I then have to fight a dragon before I can get out. Right. So so it does have a kind of a give and take. So I think this is a more well balanced character once you figure out how to use them. But yeah, there's one that lets you quaff potions for free, and I mean it's all about kind of the randomness of what you roll. So when you mess with it too much then it becomes too easy for those characters and harder for characters that don't have abilities like that. Is there anything you want to add to that? Um, no, I mean, this is this is one of those ones where, you know, you just kind of play in between games. Although, personally, I think I'd rather just play zombies. I mean, uh, not zombie side, zombie dice. Yeah, right. I, I kind of agree. I mean, it is kind of mindless enough um, that it, you know, gives you that zen state if you're really looking for that. Yeah. Uh, and there's a little bit that you need to negotiate. But it's really just, you know, what the dice are rolled. And usually there's not a problem with that, but there's just not a whole lot more there. So, again, it's not a horrible game. I'm not saying that by any means. You might really enjoy it just for a little palletizer, little quick thing. Um, but beware that some of the character cards seem unbalanced to us. And the dynamic is really not all that, like I say, it's not all that fun. You're just kind of like, okay, so I do this and do this. Like, literally, you, you heard us, you know. Yeah. It's like, I was trying to be exuberant, but it's just kind of hard. We just played this a couple times, so that's part of it. But it's just one of those games. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. I don't want to knock it because these sort of things are really cool to have on hand. For, you know, groups of people, it can scale that well. 
So if you really like rolling dice, then maybe not so bad. But uh, yeah, there, there's there's not a whole lot to keep it really engaging for very long. So I mean, that's par- partially maybe why they only did a three three rounds. Like each character only gets three rounds to go through the dungeon. Right. Of course, part of that might also be if you play with like eight or something then it's going to take a long time. Yeah, all you're doing is sitting there waiting for people. Yeah, and so you, you basically get two turns because you roll the dungeon per turn, but otherwise you're just kind of watching. But it, it does happen quickly. It's not like a long, laborious game or anything. Um, so I don't, yeah. I feel bad for, for uh, downplaying it or trashing it as much as I, I am, but it's just not that fun. Yeah, I mean, well, it, it, it has its merits. But, yeah, I, I, again, I would just rather be playing something else, in my opinion. All right, guys, uh, it was another Kickstarter, so we do say definitely go to Kickstarter, support those. Any games are great. Yeah. And uh, not all of them are, are hits, but uh, I love seeing them out there because, you know, big companies don't allow uh, new ground to be tread very often. So. That's true. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our playlists. Uh, Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art, print, shorts, stars, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us, and if I'm online, I'll chat, to you. I'll chat with you all day. I'll chat to you. Yes. We're also both blogging. You can find me, uh, fist37.tumblr.com. I'm um, blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, uh, little bits about the world I've created for 10 plus years. Uh, take a look. If you like it, share it. Support me that way. And my blog is nicholasbach.tumblr.com. I have po- uh, I have short stories and poetry, so if you're interested, check that out. All right, guys. See you later. Nice. Yes. Can... No. You are correct, sir. Correct. 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 Up next, Berserk, Golden Age Arc 2. Is my microphone in frame? Is my, is my microphone? Okay, stop playing around. You inanimate object, you. Just so everybody knows, we're kind of tired now, because we just played a bunch of uh, Dungeon Roll, and uh, you'll understand once we review it. Or at least how we feel. Where's the box? Um, right here, and unfortunately, I gotta kind of—it's green. I don't know how how close it's gonna be, but I gotta kind of keep it somewhere. I don't know. I'm gonna have to dish it pretty quick. I just some random splash the pot. Random thingy news. I don't know. I just say things. I'm like how I played with my mic while you were talking. I looked at it and stuff. Yeah, I don't know like, what the fuck you were doing. It was like right here. I was like, whoa, that's weird. I, the power of the mic compelled me. Very sleepy.